What's going on, y'all? This is your boy, Scotty by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, where we talk about celebrity gossip, hot topics, and all things reality TV based. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Thursday, and I intend on doing the exact same. What's going on, you guys? Now, before we get into the mess, let's talk about what we got coming up on the platform, all right? Now, as you guys already know, tomorrow is Friday, which means that tomorrow is Boys Night Out. We return this week for the sixth episode of the season and this week scotty by nature tv nor jamar 84 will be in attendance however josiah will be hosting the um episode of boys night out and it still will be here on scotty by nature tv so go ahead and click on um the boys night out playlist and set up your reminders so you guys can get the um so you guys can get the notifications but it will be t josiah and maddie as well as one guess and a possible second. So make sure you guys tune in to that. There won't be a live review of Love and Mayor Transville because I will be out of town, but there will be a pre-recorded um, review of Love and Mayor Transville. Um, also, uh, on Sunday night, there will not be a live review of The Real Housewives of Potomac at all because I will be out of town at Jamie's Baby Shower. However, there will be a pre-recorded um a review of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I mean, Real um, Housewives of Potomac, probably that Monday. And on Monday, the Whether You Like It or Not panel will be on giving you the Real Tees platform, but your boy Scotty will not be there either, okay? I'll still be in Atlanta, and um, Schoolboy will be coming in for her first guest appearance, and um, either Ill Teddy or Reggie will be sitting in my spot. So make sure you guys tune in for that. So with that being said, that's pretty much all that we got for the church announcement. So let's go ahead and get into the mess y'all now as you guys already know saucy santana has taken the straight man by storm okay it all started when dj fatademics came for the likes of carisha of the city girls and saucy santana came to her defense then dj academics decided to go live and and display a homophobic lie against Saucy Santana and Saucy Santana came back and read him for filth. Now, after he read him for filth, you know, there have been a lot of uh, things being stated about what he said to DJ Academics. And now WAC 100 has decided to call um, a content creator to fight Saucy Santana. And now we have someone by the name of Charleston White. I think that's his name. Now, he has gone out to speak on a DJ Academic's behalf. And this is what he had to say. So we're going to go ahead and get into that. And then we'll be right back. Let's listen in on what he had to say. Face to the motherfucking men and go to gay bashing. We supposed to join together as straight men with DJ Academic and bash the shit out that pump. Get your gay ass somewhere, motherfucker. Cause I know a nigga. I, I know I know some nigga uh, a whoop you and fuck you, punk. <laughs> I'm Man, I know a nigga been down that road. I'm telling you. Or uh, shake, shake, or uh, shake that tree and see where to fall from it. <laughs> and next thing you know, they going together after that good ass whooping. But say, uh, listen, DJ Academics is a blogger. He got a right. To have an opinion about this has been his career. He got a right to have an opinion, my nigga, to say, hey, uh, the city girl, boy, y'all only sold 10,000 units this week. I think it's over with. Oh, hey. uh, bitch, it's over with for y'all. <laughs> man, they got sexy red now. This is what we supposed to come in now. Hey, and she done got pregnant. pregnant. They got, they got, Sex Chris, tape and pregnant. man, they got Christian Rock with a retarded baby that she making video with. Oh, uh, who else? Nigga, they got Glorilla. Man, you, you city girl hoes, y'all time was up. Y'all had y'all little run. It was fun. <laughs> now y'all getting peed on. Enjoy. But yeah, y'all, yeah, yeah, that's, he ain't said nothing wrong. So tell that punk pipe down. And get him some pipe, but leave that boy alone. Boy ain't done nothing wrong. God damn. Boy ain't done nothing wrong. He's a blogger. And how you go get him mad over a motherfucker's opinion? And the opinion's not about you. We can say mean things to girls as men. That don't make us bad men. Hey. Especially the way them whole rap and what they rap about. Them ain't women, them bitches and hoes. They can treat them whole like how you want them. So listen, guys. And punks and ladies and men and whoever, <laughs> women act a certain kind of way. Ladies behave a certain kind of way. Amen. And she done got pregnant. Bitches and hoes rap. Women don't. Women don't rap. They sing. Sing gospel. Hey. R&B. <laughs> they do poetry. <laughs> but hoes and bitches rap. 
and we treat them accordingly. Them bitches will not be treated like women. They do not have the rights and the protection that ladies have. Bitches and hoes get what they get. Bitches and hoes. Okay, so that was Charleston White uh, speaking in regards to the Saucy Santana and DJ Academic situation. First of all, you sound like a complete idiot, first of all. And I don't expect nothing less from people that defend DJ Academics. I find most people that defend DJ Academics to be complete idiots, okay? So this is nothing new. Um, also, um, I like... Yo, I don't even know why I'm even having any type of commentary on anything that you say because everything that you say sounds stupid as fuck and you look stupid as fuck at you know judging by the picture. So like I like I don't understand why you so mad, okay? Cuz at the end of the day, DJ Academic started it off by dragging a woman on his platform and Saucy Santana being that woman's friend, male friend and that regardless of what his sexual sexual preference is he came out and defended her that's what most of us men do when we have women in our lives that we love and that we support and that we feel like we have to protect you know when we have a man coming at them crazy we do step in and take up for them that's normally what we do but we got this chipmunk looking motherfucker who cannot take that see the thing about this is y'all are trying to um align saucy santana and make him out to be this big bad bully when DJ Academics has been running amok in the palace for many years now. He gets off on talking about women all the time in a, in a negative way. Um, and then when a man pull up on him, he ain't got nothing to say. He pipes down. When a woman says something, he goes all the way in. And when they respond to him, he goes even hard on them. So I'm trying to understand why is it that Saucy Santana on your ass and you crying like a bitch? I'm trying to understand that. Now, at this point, Saucy Santana has responded to this drunk looking motherfucker. You know, because I don't even know who the fuck Charleston White is. But however, we're going to get into what Saucy Santana said. Let's go ahead and get into it, y'all. Let's let's check it out. Now, cockeyed bitch. Ain't nobody scared of no motherfucking gay bashing. Niggas been gay bashing since I was in motherfucking high school. And I've been whooping ass since motherfucking high school. That's a motherfucking fact. Fuck nigga, keep my motherfucking name. I show my bitch. First of all, I addressed academics because he did an interview with Vlad TV and they both was speaking on me. And he done spoke on me motherfucking before. Stay off the internet reading the motherfucking blogs and do your motherfucking research. So I addressed him off of me first. Then I'm address you by my motherfucking sister. Because you as a motherfucking nigga, if you feel like a girl is a hoe or a housewife, if a bitch come for your sister, your mama, your niece, your anything, another motherfucking grown-ass motherfucking man, bitch-ass nigga, you need to stand the fuck up and say something to that motherfucking nigga. We don't give a fuck about no um, Charleston White you can get like that. That's what the fuck I'm telling you. So I'm just, you ain't even, you ain't, you, if you want to team up with motherfucking academics, bitch, put your boots on. It's never nothing. It's never motherfucking nothing. Bitch, if you feel like all y'all niggas need to squad the fuck up and, 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 and sign in, step in with DJ Academics, he need the motherfucking help. So, bitch, do motherfucking you. But all that punk faggot shit, bitch, you giving me more punk faggot than anything doing motherfucking interviews, snapping your motherfucking fingers, speaking on motherfucking bitches, all oh, trick-ass country-ass nigga, country grammar-ass nigga. Fuck wrong with you, mush mouth. You sound like you got dick in your mouth when you motherfucking talk, bitch. Fuck you, come out. That's the problem with y'all old heads, old sass. People could be bloggers. That's fine. Report, report, report on anything you want. Report on whatever. That's that's fine. But you know what most of these blog pages have? These professional blog pages have, and, and, and what keep them out of shit? They have a team of people reporting, and they not putting a face on it. You a grown ass motherfucking man speaking hostile and picking on girls, bullying bitches. That's the difference. The neighborhood talk, the shade room, it's on site, Hollywood Unlocked. All these blogs have a team of people that log in and run shifts and report. It's not a face to the motherfucking case. Even if we know who on the blog, we don't know who posted it. This is a motherfucking nigga that be on the internet speaking ill and picking on bitches. That's not cool. Be a blog and report. But when you start being disrespectful and when you start picking on bitches and laughing at, and, and laughing at life-threatening situations, Bitch, you out of line. And since you want to be a motherfucking bully, bitch, you're going to get bullied for it. People could be black. 
And that was Saucy Santana responding to um, Charleston White after Charleston White came for Saucy Santana in his interview. All I got to say is this right here, and, I, and, and it's probably going to be very short because I feel like I'm going to repeat myself, and that's something that I'm really trying to get out of. Academics is a bully, and he got bullied. The bully has been bullied at this point. You feel what I'm saying? Saucy read all of them fulfilled, and he did not tell a lie, Okay. Academics only get booked with women, as I keep on saying, okay? He's been a bitch, okay? And on top of that, don't nobody even give a fuck about what the a damn Charleston White got to say. You know what I mean? And all this has shown is that DJ Academics is a boy. That's all he is. So don't nobody really care about anything about DJ Academics. It's funny how y'all can stand up for a man that do shit like this, even said that he were right. Like... I get it. Y'all don't like Saucy Santana. I don't really care for Saucy Santana like that either, but y'all don't like Saucy Santana because of some shit that he said about Blue Ivy and all that other shit. I understand that, but that ain't got nothing to do with what's going on right now. Okay? I'm sorry. And that ain't even me dismissing what he said about Blue Ivy because what he said about Blue Ivy was some fucked up ass shit. I ain't gonna never take that away. It was some fucked up ass shit. Period. Okay? And that's on God. But in this particular moment, though... I'm just saying that he's not doing anything wrong by standing up for his friend because ain't nobody else standing up for Carisha, not even her own damn man is, okay? So he's only punking out the punk, the punk ass that DJ Academics is. He's showing us what he really is, and it took an effeminate gay man to step up and put him in his fucking place. And I just love how he got these straight as in the tizzy. It's so funny to me. Um, so that's all I really got on that, and... Like I said, a lot of the shit that Santana had said to DJ Academics is definitely wrong. Like, you know, you know him saying that he'll beat uh, his ass and then fuck him in the ass right after that. That is fucked up. It's fucked up and it's not right to say. He probably shouldn't have said it. But do I, but do I give a damn that he said it to Academics? Absolutely not. Because I said it was wrong, but I don't care. Academics deserve every, every piece of it, every solitary word he deserves it. And that's just on that. So that's all I really got on this. So before we get up out of here, let's do a little bit of promo. So we got Long Days by our very own Tramiel. It's available now. So make sure you guys go purchase and stream. And Bando has a brand new record out called Bando's Dream. And it's now available on Spotify, Apple Music, and YouTube. All right. So with that being said, you guys, this will be your boy, Scott, about Nature TV. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, share this video. And also click on the notification bell. All right. So you can be notified whenever a video drops. And if you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my TikTok will be down below. With that being said, you guys, your boys about here. And until my next video, I will talk to you guys a little bit later.